audio viewers, so today we're landmarking. We've already done some mobs, but it was that bloody windy that you couldn't uh, record it. You wouldn't have heard a thing. Fortunately, today is a bit calmer and uh, we might be able to do some recording. Putty, sit down. No, Putty, no. So this is a mob of twinners. We've got Hugh out there. Oh, the sun's no good. <laughs> need to be the other way around. Got Hugh out to help us, the nephew. Some muscles to do some lifting. It'll be good. Come here, Pud. Come behind. Sit down. Sit down. That'll do. Swing it on. Swing it on. That'll do. That's odd. That's odd. Good dog. There's a number of operations you've got to do. First, Hugh picks them up and puts them in the cradle. Um, then he gives them a Barbavax vaccine, one mil, and a six in one vaccine, one mil. Uh, then he'll put an ear tag in their ear, so it's in the right ear as he looks at it for a male and a left ear for a female. Those ear tags have got our PIC number, which is our property identification code, plus they've got uh, a, a sequential numbering system, so they go from one to, to um, whatever, however many we mark. And then when Hugh's finished, we swing the cradle around and it comes to me, and what I do is uh, I... If it's a male, I put a ring on its uh, testicles um, and then give it a local anaesthetic. Uh, following that, I put a ring on its tail and it gets a local anaesthetic in that as well. And then I give it a couple of sprays of click. There's four mils in each spray. And what that does is prevents uh, fly strike. So there's no doubt about it, there's a little bit of pain involved in these operations. The injection would be the equivalent of a human getting an injection, so you, everyone would be able to relate to that. The ear tag would be a bit like somebody getting their ear pierced, I imagine. I've never had that done. <laughs> um, and, but the uh, testicles and the tail, uh, there's no human equivalent that I <laughs> know about. Um, Anyway, we use anaesthetic now. In the old days, uh, anaesthetic was never used. Um, we're using a product called Num Nuts. Uh, it's a short-acting anaesthetic, a local anaesthetic. The tool for administering it is really well designed. It's a very clever design and it's very easy to use. Um, and we've noticed that it's quite effective in relieving pain, but we're not quite sure how it goes uh, over, say, 36 hours. Um, we know now that there are some longer acting um, anaesthetics out there um, and we're going to have to ha investigate that and see whether or not we can incorporate that into our system. So that'll be something for next year, we think. Right, we're back for a second day at this. So Sarah's here to help us today. She couldn't be here yesterday. So Hugh, the question that viewers will want to know is why do we do all these operations? I don't know, yeah. Why do we do all this? <laughs> why do we do all these operations? Well we castrate them so that we don't have a whole lot of rams running around. Why don't we want to have Whoa! <laughs> why don't we want to have rams running around, Hugh? Why don't we? 
<laughs> we don't want to have grams running around because they'll upset the genetics, won't they? Yeah. We, only want, we only want the best genetics. Oh, I'm going to be running around. I'm going to go with two. So would I. <laughs> Not to be though. Not to be. Not to be. Why do we dock the tails? Why do we do the tails? The tails off? Yep. So we dock the tails so we don't collect the dags on the tails and get fly strike. We don't want fly strike. Why do we put an ear tag in their ear? So the neighbours don't take them. So the neighbours don't take them. What's on the ear tag? Your pick. Pick? What's a pick? Property identification code. And why is that important? So they know where it's come from. That's right, traceability. Traceability, which is the big Which is very important. These days. Yep. And um, why do we give them a six in one vaccine? To stop them from adult diseases like healthy kidney, black. Black legs, black legs, legs tetanus, no cheesy gland. Cheesy glands. Something else. Uh, what muscle disease? Oh, yeah. I call it six. Hey? Okay. <laughs> More than six? White muscle disease. What else is, what else is in a. Um, selenium, B12. Selenium. Selenium and B12. Yep. Why does selenium matter? Oh, what does it do? Something about the intake of vitamins or something. <laughs> Helps with. I'm not quite sure exactly what it does, but it is a deficiency in the New England soils. I thought it helped the uptake of, of things that are deficient. Yeah. 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 I could be, could be wrong. There you go. Yeah, well, uh, I learn something new every day. What else do we do? We dock the tiles, six in one, barbavax. Barbavax, yes. What's the point of the barbavax? <laughs> so after we've done a pen, we vaccinate and drench the ewes. Um, Hugh's doing the drenching and Sarah's going to do the vaccinating. Get a, get a straight sentence out of. Okay, so that's it. So out of this mob of singles, we just marked 153 lambs, and there were 179 ewes in here, of which probably 12 or 13 were dry, so that's not bad. Very good result. Lambs are pretty good. Some of them are a bit wrinkly. I prefer not to have the wrinkles, but Anyway, 
that's the last of the landmarking for this year, so that's a good result. Happy about that. Haven't done all the figures, but it probably means we've got a bit over 110 per cent as uh, landmarking numbers. Whoops, here's it. Which, which overall is pretty good result. Got to be happy with that. High fives on. High fives. <laughs> High fives. <laughs>